Hi, in this video we are going to learn about the computer hardware. This is for the class 7 CBSC lesson 1 computer. Computer hardware is a two types internal hardware and external hardware. The hardware devices which are installed inside the computer is called the internal hardware and the external hardware means the components are installed externally that is the outside of the system. For example, the computer hardware internal hardware devices are central processing unit, control unit, arithmetic and logic unit, disk drive, floppy disk drive, hard disk drive, optical disk drive, CDs, motherboard, ports, modem, SMBS. These are the internal hardware. Central processing unit. What is central processing unit? It is nothing but the processor or the brain of the computer. This processor runs all the instructions given by the computer hardware and software. Then it carries out the instructions of the computer program by performing some basic operations like arithmetic logic operations. Uh, here the arithmetic and logic operation means uh, for example, the mathematical operations plus, than, plus or minus, logical operation less than or greater than, decision operation means yes or no. Look at this uh, block diagram, central processing unit. There is one input unit, output unit, main memory and the overall chip. Chip consists of control unit and the processor. Processor includes register and the combinational logic unit. Input is given by the input unit and the processor performs some operations that is arithmetic and logic operations. Then the output is given to the output unit. Control unit. Control unit is called as central controller of the con computer system. It manages the various components of the computer that is it reads and interprets the computer program given by the input device and transforming them in the series of control signals which activate other parts of the computer. The arithmetic and logic unit perform some other operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and logic operations. Addition, subtraction already we know that what is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Then what is logic operation? Logic operation means the result will be yes or no by comparing two known values and get the result in the form of yes or no. That is called logic operations. The speed of the computer system is very very fast. That is the computer doing billions of operations every fraction of seconds. For example, if you want to add two numbers, the addition and if we want to subtract the two numbers, both operations are performed by the computer system simultaneously. Disk drive is a physical component of the computer system. This drive holding and retrieving information. We have different types of computer disk drives that is the floppy disk, CD compact disk, hard disk, the floppy disk drive is used to save the data. The size of the first real disk drive is 5 and a quarter inches and the later is 3 and a half inches. The storage of this floppy disk drive is very very small comparing with other drive devices. The storage capacity of this floppy disk is 360 KB and 1.44 MP. The storage of the floppy disk is generally 360 KB to 1.44 MP. That is for the based on the size 5 and a quarter flop, inches of floppy disk is capable of storing 360 KB and 1.2 MB of data. Uh, same like that 3 and a half inch floppy disk is capable of storing 360 KB and 1.44 MB. Because of the limited capacity, that is the small storage of the data, these floppy disks are later replaced by pen drive CDs and DVDs. Next one, hard disk drive. The main and the largest data storage of the computer is hard disk drive. It is known as 
HDD or hard disk, fixed drive, fixed disk, fixed disk drive. That is, these are the different names of the hard disk drive. So, what are the different names of the hard disk drive? HDD, hard disk, fixed drive, fixed disk, fixed disk drive. This hard disk uses magnetic storage to store the data. This hard disk drive stores and retains digital encoded data on rapidly rotating platters with a magnetic surface. The storage of the hard disk drive is the permanent one. That is, the data is stored permanently. And it also used to store pictures, music, videos, text documents and any other files created by ourselves or downloaded from the computer. The memory of this hard disk drive is non-volatile. This hard disk drive is most widely used device and the storage varies from gigabytes to terabytes. That is the very big storage device. Next one, optical disk drive that is OTT. These optical drives retrieve or store data on the optical disk light that is DVDs, Blu-ray disk. The other name of the optical disk drive is CD drive, DVD drive or BD drive. The most optical drives can play or record a large number of different disk formats. The different disk formats are CD-ROM, CD-R, CD-RW, DVD, DVD-RAM, DVD-R, DVD-plus-R, DVD-RW, that is here R means write recordable, RW means rewritable, ROM means read only memory. In DVD or disk, we can write the data only one time. If we write the data, then we cannot erase the data. In DVD or W, we can rewrite the data. Once we can write and again can remove the data and write it the uh, repeated time. The storage of the CD is 700 MP of data and DVD 4.7 GB and for Blu-ray disc it can hold 25 GB. Next one motherboard. Motherboard is the printed circuit board. It has most of the internal components and slots inside with the motherboard. This motherboard allocates the power and allows the communication between the internal components like that uh, hardware devices, CPU and RAM. And the important one is chipset. Chipset is nothing but the collection of chips and controllers inside the motherboard. Some of the things available on the motherboard are central processing chip that is the CPU chip and input output controller device read only memory that is ROM ROM then USB port DVA port to handle the monitor and heat sinks or fan this heat sinks or fan is used to avoid the avoid to get more heat of the computer system then sound card and graphic cards next one is port port are the slots to connect to one device with another Actually, the one end of the port is connected with the one end of the cable is connected with this port and the another end is connected with the disk drives or external component. That is the monitor, printer or uh, other peripheral devices. Next one, modem. This modem allows the computer to communicate over the network with other connected devices on the internet. It contains the board that is plugged into the motherboard. The abbreviation of the modem is modular and modulator and demodulator. It converts the digital signal into analog signals or wave signals. The modem is two types. One is dial-up and the another one is Wi-Fi that is wireless. The dial-up system operates over the telephone line and requires the phone number and log on credential to make the connection. In the Wi-Fi that is in wireless, the internal modem can connect wirelessly and without credential in certain cases. Next is SMPS. 
SMPS means a switch mode power supply. It is an electronic circuit that converts the power using switching devices that are turned on and off at high frequencies and a little storage component. It is used to provide the stable and efficient power supply to the computer. It provides power when the switching device is in its non-contacting state. Next part external device. Some of the external devices are monitor, keyboard, mouse, printer, scanner, webcam, speakers and the pen drive. There uh, in the scanner we have four, uh, four classifications. Flatbed scanners, sheet fed scanners, handheld scanners and card scanner. Next one monitor. Monitors are the display devices external to the computer. They are connected via cable to the port on the video card or motherboard. This monitor displays text, video and graphics information generated as output by the computer. This monitor is categorized as CRT that is cathode ray tube, LCD that is liquid crystal display and the LED. LED means a light emitting diode. Keyboard. Keyboard is used to enter the information in the computer that is used to give input to the computer. The basic keyboard has a springed keys pressed down to complete an electrical circuit. This keyboard has the circuitry that carries information to and from the processor. That is the data is given to the processor from the keyboard and also it is retrieved from the processor. Under each key there is a circuit which completes when the key is pressed. It makes a current flow and informs the processor about the character of the key pressed by the character mapping process. There are many different keyboard layouts with the difference between differences between languages and countries. That is, in different where the keyboards are available with the different languages in different countries. The most popular layout is the QWERTY keyboard. That is assertive for uh, countries such as France and Belgium, quarters for countries such as Germany and Austria and for different values of the most keys in Arabic and in Chinese laid over the QWERTY keyboard. Next mouse. Mouse is the pointing device. It can be wired or wireless. This mouse detects the 2D motion of the flat surface and then represents the same motion over the screen. This mouse enables the user to issue instruction to the computer by controlling the pointer on the screen, display screen. Next to printer. Printer takes text or graphics output from the computer, then it prints the output uh, it over a sheet of paper. It makes a hard copy of the data in the computer. That is, the soft copy is converted into hard copy using this printer. The printer vary in size, speed, sophistication and cost. That is, the, there are different types of printers available based on the size, speed, sophistication and the cost. Among these, uh, some of the printers, okay, different types of printers are available. Uh, they are most common printers used in the computer are dot matrix, inject, laser and thermal printer. Among these, laser printer is the fastest one. The printer resolution is measured in dots per inch. That is DPI. Next is scanner. Scanner changes the physical information to digital. That is the hard copy is converted by into a digital copy that is soft copy by the scanner. The scanner analyzes the text or image on the paper that is it analyzes the hard copy and processes it to allow to save the information in the soft copy inside the computer. After scanning the picture or the text we can alter or enhance the file, print it out or use it as a soft copy of the information or image. We have four different types of scanners, flat bed scanners, sheet fed scanner, handheld scanner and hot scanner, card scanner. Flat bed scanners, they are the most commonly used scanners 
the documents and are laid flat on it and then optical sensor passes over the text or image and they convert it into the digital format then sheet fed scanner it is a in a sheet fed scanner the document is moved on and the scan head is fixed here the document is moved and the scan head is fixed in the sheet fed scanner in the flat bed scanner the documents are laid flat on it and an optical sensor passes over them then in handheld scanner it scans text and images by dragging the device over the page in card scanner the specially designed to scan business cards so there are four different types one is flat bed scanner sheet fed scanner handheld scanner card scanner card, card scanner is only for the uh, card business card scanning purpose then fla flat bed scanner means the document is laid flat it is in static mode fixed and the scanner optical scanner passes over the document in sheet fed scanner the scanner is fixed and the document is movable okay then in handheld scanner the images the scan uh, scans images and text by dragging the device over the page next uh, external device is webcam this webcam consists of a digital camera attached to the computer by the cable through the usb port using the webcam we can monitor our home ca and capture or and share the images or videos from the computer device we can use this webcam for a video conferencing session with our friends or business association anywhere in the world. We can connect our friends or business people anywhere in the world. The softwares like Skype, uh, we can make it a video phone calls with a friend who also has the webcam. Next external device is speaker. Speaker takes the electronic signal stores on the device like CDs, hard disks and DVDs then converts it into the sound that we can hear. Next external device is pen drive. If you want to move or copy the information from one system to another system for, for the purpose of taking, uh, taking backup or for giving to our friends, we can use the pen drive for this purpose. A pen drive is a portable storage device we can uh, use this anywhere from um, one place to another place we can move this pen drive with a storage purpose and this also called USB that is universal serial bus flash drive as it connects the computer via USB port the available sizes of the US pen drive is 2 GB to 1 TB TB means terabyte flash drives are an easy way to store and transfer information 